Not all those who wander are lost. This simple quote by J.R.R. Tolkien can say a lot about traveling. Some people just simply like to wander. Good evening. Tonight I'm here to speak to you and these lovely people <laughs> about the pleasures of traveling. In fact, we are all currently traveling on our way home uh, from a long, eventful day. I will be speaking of the benefits of traveling and some of the ways you can travel even on a budget. So for my first point, there are many benefits to traveling. According to Kalita Jenkins, traveling can help you learn to cope with the uncertainties of life and can help you to communicate with all manner of people, even when you don't speak their language. Sometimes people have a hard time communicating even when they do speak the language, much less when you don't. And when you encounter these people all day long, you learn a sort of nonverbal way to communicate. Not only that, but you can gain a lot of experience. There, the world around us is beautiful, and you don't even have to go far to see it. And the more you see, the more you know about the world around you, and the more you can care about it and help take care of it. That being said, I come to my second point of the night, how to travel even on a budget. Just because you want to travel doesn't mean you have to break the bank. There are beautiful places close to home to wander around and see. I love going out to the desert and camping for the weekend or going up to the mountains and taking a small hike. In fact, there's a hike not far from here up in Arrowhead, which is about a mile, a mile and a half long. You have to go down this crazy hill to get to this beautiful little waterfall spot um, that you can go rock jumping off of. You can swim in the water. It's always nice and cool, even on the hottest summer days. And it costs almost nothing to get there except a $5 adventure pass for the day because you have to pay to park up there. If you need to get out of the country, but you still want to keep it cheap, keep an eye out for flight specials. And when you're there, stay in hostels or give Couchsurfer.com a try, as my friend Angela did. You can try eating at the local places. Street food can be great and super cheap. Um, instead of sticking to all the touristy places and going out to fancy dinners and whatnot, it's also good to keep in mind places that are cheap, like Thailand, for example, where a dollar goes a really long way. They even have hostels that are as cheap as $7 a night. It gets you a bed and a light and a fan, and which can be nice when it's ridiculously hot out there. And not much more, but it's still a place to stay and a place to keep your stuff when you're out wandering for the day. So that's my speech on traveling. I hope it's persuaded you to get out and see a little bit of the world. Um, I have talked about the benefits of traveling and how to do it on the cheap. Uh, and I leave you with uh, the hope that you are inspired to get out and see the beautiful places around us. Thank you. Have a good night.